Today, the English language contains 1,019,729 words. Nouns account for over half of this total. One half of that half is made up of adjectives. Of the remaining half are verbs. A new word is created every 98 minutes. That's about 14.7 words per day, 102.9 per week, 441 per month. This means that every year of your life, your dictionary is approximately 5,350.8 words heavier than it was the year before. Hello, Dr. Grossman. This is Lester Harrigan returning your call. You inquired about purchasing a word. Who am I? A word bootlegger? A dealer? A broker? A trader? The English language has 1019729 unique linguistic utterances in current use among 3 to 8 million native speakers scattered around the planet. Add to that at least 250 million non-native speakers and you have 578 million humans all dipping their fingers into the same pool of words, all expecting their hands to come out clean. I... I was under the impression that you were already familiar with our operation. We sell words. For money. Well, obviously. Obvious as it may seem. Why should I pay you money? Uh, real money for something that is, um, shall we say, immaterial. Immaterial. I'm sorry, aren't you a psychiatrist? Sure. Would you like a glass of water? Sure. That, that would be great. Great. Thank you. It's like every word exists in reality as a single thread moving through space and time. Every place that's ever been spoken, thought of, used. If I tug at it here, all instances of the word is affected everywhere. Time, places, people. There's a ripple. Sure. Sure. Think of how many people you could help. Fear of flying, for example. <laughs> a child sits on a plane. And as he fidgets with his seat belt, his mother announces her divorce. And there, fear of flying. He's afraid of flying. Not because he fears the crash, he's afraid of flying 
because he still remembers the sour taste of the fizzy airplane limeade in his mouth as he hears the word, please fasten your seatbelt, blaring over the speakers. And what do you intend to do about that? To remove the word seatbelts from the entire universe so he never hears it again. It's a word association thing. Take away the strongest trigger to the memory, and the events still happen. It just doesn't seem to weigh on one as much. So I buy the word seatbelt from you and it's suddenly nowhere to be found. Well, not seat belts, of course, can't do that. You take that out of commission and you're looking at a whole host of other calamities. But you get the picture. There are limits, Dr. Grossman. Is this illegal? Illegal. A commodity such as this could be considered something of an unethical purchase. But then there's exclusivity. And there is a price for exclusivity. Great. Wait here for me a moment. You've made some very good points here today, I believe you. Here's the money. I meant to ask you. Police! Up. Relax, they're not here for you, they're here for me. Are you coming? The word I want to purchase is contraband. I don't really live here, I just came to rob the place. Nice doing business with you. Hi. Dr. McCready? Yes? Yes, this is Lester Harrigan from the Linguistic Revivification Project. Yes, we spoke on the phone earlier today. Come up, fourth floor. Oh, 
Would you like something to drink? I have orange, cranberry, and pomegranate juice. Cranberry juice would be great, ma'am. Do you live alone? I live here with Bailey. Is that your husband, ma'am? Bailey is not my husband. Bailey is my dog. You're a psychiatrist, I understand. I was. I am. But I stopped professionally practicing 15 years ago. Oh, I wasn't aware. I thought you were still taking patients. I have this as your office address? It is. Uh, I moved my practice here 15 years ago to focus on a few special cases. Well, I'll start by explaining. Ma'am? There's no need. I'm familiar with the process. How's that? You're not the first seller of words that I've encountered. Mother? What is it, dear? Look at this word. Gypsy weed. Common hairy European perennial with pale blue or lilac flowers and auxiliary race mist. That's nice. Or, or this one. Gyre, a ring or circle, turning and turning in the widening gyre by W.B. Yeats. Mom, are you listening? Yes, dear, I am. Mom. You're looking very pulchritudinous today. Pulchritudinous. It means beautiful. Thank you, Lester. Now go play. Go play. disposed in place by one such movement ensuing, in stitches convulsed with laughter. Mom, are you listening? Mom? Mom? Mother? Mom, where'd you go? Mother? Where are you? Mom? Mom? I have other toys you might like. Catherine, Carousel, Mark, Scarf, Jennifer, Ruben, Seth, Daisy, Lester, Stitch. Stitch, why did you call me here today? You could have said this on the phone. Because if I told you what I really wanted, that you wouldn't have come. You didn't call me here to buy a word? 
call me here to make me agonized? No, no. Look, I have bought a lot of words, and I've kept careful, careful records. But eventually I found out that if I bought the word scarf to help Jennifer, and then I needed it to help Mark, that it was out of commission. And I found out that I wasn't helping more people. I was just helping different people. I asked you to come here today, not to buy a word, but to sell them back to you. You don't have to sell them back. Just spread them around. all sorts of imbalances, chemical or otherwise, and there are all sorts of people who strive to correct them. But then again, maybe our illness can't be cured by getting the right word off our hands. Maybe we're ill in the first place because someone's holding on to the word we need, and that word is out there somewhere, and we're just waiting to get it back. Who am I? A word bootlegger? A dealer? A broker? A trader? Maybe. But there are 578 million English speakers in the world who can stir that pool faster than I can chase it.